Well, today we're gonna have fun uh, cooking a big uh, five-pound uh, uh, roast. Uh, the roast is coming from the uh, Big Oaf Farm up uh, north, northern Ottawa, uh, Canada. Uh, I'm gonna start with some uh, tomato paste. Uh, really important to put that in. I'm gonna use that. This is one of the things that you absolutely need to get this recipe good. I'm gonna put two cups of red wine. I don't drink any wine, so uh, this wine was given to me by uh, by a friend. Uh, it's from a veteran up in the Petawawa area. I'm gonna use two cup of red wine. This one is probably too good to use in a recipe, but since I don't drink wine, that's the only way I can, uh, I can use the wine up. Um, so two cups of wine. My next ingredient is orange juice, no pulp orange juice. Uh, you can do do it yourself with a few oranges, or if you're if you're a bit lazy, just do like me. Use the uh, store bought one. I need to mix that on a low heat on the stove, and making sure the tomato paste, orange juice, and the wines are mixed together. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sear my uh, my roast. Make sure I sear it on all side. All I'm looking for really is uh, to get some nice coloring in the meat. That's really all I'm doing, and I'm doing that on every single side. So all you need is a bit of olive oil or avocado oil in the bottom of a pan, and then just get a light sear on all sides for your meat. The first thing I will put in is my carrots. I'm putting three large carrots. I'm going to put that at the bottom. Uh, carrots is what takes the longest to cook. Uh, that will do two things. It's, uh, it's going to allow me to get the meat off the bottom of the pot and then uh, those will be cooked uh, basically the same way as all the other veggie. Next thing I'm going to drop my roast on to the on top of the carrots in my in my pot and then I'll be able to put the rest of my veggie up. I'm using three large onions. Uh, you can use the red onions if you want to, it doesn't really matter. And then if you look at the size of the pieces, uh, you cut them in fairly large size instead of a roast like that, because what happens if it's in too small, then they just disappear. So large size is, uh, is even better. Um, same thing for the mushrooms. Um, if you don't want to use too small as a mushroom, if they're too small, they just disappear. And then same thing if they're too large, more in a bite size, uh, the problem is you need to cut them up uh, and they won't have the same textures. Uh, once you uh, get that, on your plate. Uh, for the garlic itself, what I do is I'm going to use uh, uh, eight cloves of garlic and then I'm just going to cut it in, in half so they're a bit smaller pieces so when you eat them uh, they'll just go through no problem. For the veggie what you do is you need to spread them all around, all even around the pot so um, when it cooks it, the taste of it mix it all up together so it's all around. Uh, last thing I'm putting is obviously my mushrooms will be right at the top so they'll get nice and brown and then just spread my uh, my garlic all around. I'm going to also put some rosemary. Uh, what I do with the rosemary, I make sure it's at the top. The rosemary gives it a, bit, a bit nice of a taste and it also makes the house smells awesome in the, in the, in the afternoon. And then the, my secret ingredients, I'm using a quarter cup of maple syrup and that's going on the meat only right on top of the meat. Uh, that's basically going to give it a nice little sugary taste and it's going to taste great. And then the rosemary as you can see just leave it at the top so it's easy to pull up when it's cooked. So this is going to cook, uh, this guy's going to cook at 325 for four and a half to five hours and then you'll see when it comes out it's going to be beautiful. This is amazing. And then you can serve that with some uh, rice, balsamic rice, or whatever you wish, or a potato. But this is how it looks. It is nice and tasty. You guys enjoy. Mm -hmm. 